So I'm actually about to head out to the grocery store to do my weekly shopping, but the very first thing I like to do before I even get to the store, and actually before I even make my grocery list, is to take inventory of what I already have. So let's go ahead and go through the fridge and the pantry and see what we've got. Okay, so I already have these two butternut squashes, a couple of sweet potatoes, plenty of onions, a red onion, and this cute little acorn squash. I also have plenty of beans. I'm pretty much always set on beans. We have split peas, lentils, adzuki beans, white beans, black beans. I also have some camu grain, some buckwheat, and I think I'm gonna make some bread. So I'm just checking what kind of flour I have. And then in the fridge, it looks like a lot, but it's honestly not a lot. Let's see. We have some watermelon that needs to be eaten. We have a couple boxes of spinach, some vegan chicken from this Happy Veggie World. We've been buying so many of their products lately. Some already cooked rice. These are broths and a pesto in there, a couple of sweet potatoes, one box of unopened mushrooms. We have a cauliflower some steamed beets. Ooh, a lot of steamed beets. And then just a little bit of pasta and already cooked sauce and some broccolini. So based on what I have, what you guys just saw, I think I'm going to be making some soups. I'm going to use that butternut squash to make some soup. I also definitely need a couple more fresh veggies. I'm thinking to do some salads next week, like maybe a spinach salad or spinach and kale salad. And then maybe just a couple more veggies for roasting as well. Ooh, eggplant. I have been loving roasted eggplant lately. So I'm probably going to get a couple eggplants and do like roasted eggplant, I might even make a baba ganoush. So I'm just gonna start writing some things down and usually what I like to do is go to the grocery store and see whatever is fresh and whatever looks good, but I definitely always take a list with me to keep me on track and get the things that I definitely need. Otherwise, I would just end up buying the whole entire store. So basically when I sit down to make my list, I just try and think of anything that I have been craving. Usually I have most of the pantry staples on hand, but maybe I will need something like canned pumpkin if I want to make a pumpkin dessert. I don't usually have canned pumpkin on hand. So I will just look through a couple recipes that I have saved or look up the recipes for that if needed, write down any additional ingredients that I need to get at the store, and then there's your list. Okay, so we have our food to prep and then just a couple meal ideas that I made out of those and then everything we need from the stores. I just categorize it by stores because I find that's easiest for me. I try not to go to too many different stores because I know that it can be very time consuming. I really like grocery shopping, so I don't mind if I have to go to a couple different grocery stores, but I know it does take a lot more time. And usually, honestly, it's not necessary, especially here in Toronto. Like it's pretty easy to find everything at one grocery store. So don't feel like you need to go to a hundred different grocery stores. Just make your list of whatever you need and then we're off to the store. Okay, so I'm just at Healthy Planet now and that is like our local health food store. And I'm starting with the specialty stores and the specialty items first, because if I can't find those, then it alters my meal plan just slightly. So I am looking for their organic celery. They usually have a pretty good price compared to the other stores on organic celery. And then also I'm looking for the Butler soy curls and I'm not sure if they carry them here. So I gonna check that out. And then also the better than bouillon broth paste in two particular flavors. I'm looking for the no chicken and the no beef flavor. At Costco, they have the veggie version, but not the chickenless or beefless flavors. So I'm gonna see if they have it here and let's go inside. Hold on, put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone.
Okay, first store finished. That worked out really well because they had a lot of really good produce on sale. So I got a couple extra things that I would have otherwise gotten at No Frills. And also they had a couple other fun vegan items on sale. So I just picked up a few little random things. The only thing is they didn't have either the Better Than Bouillon or the Butler's Soy Curls. So instead of the Soy Curls, I decided to get tempeh and then the Better Than Bouillon paste is not that big of a deal. And now we're gonna head to No Frills and get the bulk of our produce. Um, just a couple other fresh fruits and veggies, and then that should be it. No frills done. We got all our groceries back there. Let's get everything home and put away. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly go through everything we got. Some of the convenience things that I got, like I got a couple of the Just Eggs and the Garden sausage patties because they were both on sale at Healthy Planet. So of course, those are going to be a little bit more expensive and also not as healthy as, of course, fresh fruits and veggies, but I do like to get those to have. Sometimes we have them on weekends and they're really delicious. So um, that's what we got. Let me show you guys. We got six bunches of celery, some lasagna noodles, more mushrooms, a bag of carrots, baby potatoes, two bags of bell peppers, two bunches of bananas, corn tortillas, purple grapes, two eggplants, two bunches of green onion, grape tomatoes, mini cucumbers, artichoke hearts, pumpkin puree, two kinds of kale, red leaf lettuce and parsley, tempeh, vegan cheese that was on sale, just egg that was on sale, and garden sausages that were on sale, sprouting seeds for making our own sprouts, fresh cranberries, pumpkin seeds, and sunflower seeds. This will probably last us a little bit longer than a week. Some of the things I will just freeze if we're not able to use them up right away. I'm a big fan of freezing things. And then the celery over here, I'm probably going to juice most of that so I don't have to worry about eating all of it. And then of course we have like some canned things canned pumpkin in case we wanna make any more pumpkin fall recipes. The carrots will stay good for a really long time in the fridge. Potatoes, you don't have to use up right away. And actually, if you guys are interested in how I use all of these veggies throughout the week, then you're gonna to wanna to watch the next video that is coming that is going to be another meal prep and showing you what I do with all of these, how I prepare them, how I get them ready for a week's worth of meals. So do make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you know when that video goes live. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Let's eat plants and I will see you guys next time.